We are continuing. You know, Alex Jones has acted a little uh, discombobulated lately because he's being attacked, you know, from every uh, mainstream media source out there as uh, being fake news. And, um, of course, I contest that opinion as fake news because I really believe that there are certain news sources that want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. They don't, want to re uh, they don't want to report anything fake or phony. But when the truth is so over the top, okay, there's no way around it being sensational. When you find out that the top dogs, okay, are Satanists, okay, how do you, how do you uh, convey that to the public without it being a little unsettling, a, a little traumatic, in fact? You can't. When you find out that there's a lot of these people in high places that are into this white slavery, this child, uh, what do they call it? pedophile, pedophilia, and all this stuff, okay, that want to promulgate this sort of thing, that think it's okay, okay, these people are miserable, okay, I'm not saying I know who they are, I'm not going to... I'm not going to label anybody as being a Satanist or a pedophile without myself knowing firsthand. But this is the kind of stuff that has to come out. There are connections to these kind of people. Uh, you know, this uh, Jerry Epstein, whatever his name is, and his pedophile island, and all the trips Bill Clinton has taken on it. And, and then uh, Hillary Clinton's uh, uh, the, the Democratic, uh, who is he in charge of the campaign, this uh, Podesta character, and all his, uh, you know, spirit cooking. Look up that term, spirit cooking. Okay, this is bizarre, very unsettling stuff, okay? And, uh, you know, it, 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 it deals with the black arts, you know, black magic and Satanism, basically is what we're talking about here, is that these people are tapping into this evil, okay, as this abandonment of the conscience, and uh, you're saying, hey, look, you know what, we trust in death, we, t we trust in uh, this hatred for humanity, we trust in chaos and crises, and we trust in the God of this world, which is money, which is Satan, okay, it's all one and the same. So these money printing class and the New World Order Cabal, all their associated uh, associates, okay, witting and unwitting, all these minions, they're all part of this, this establishment cabal that wants to keep humanity on this trajectory of going over a cliff and just committing mass genocide. That's all these people have up their sleeve. That's all they have. That's their will for humanity is mass extermination. So understand that. How can that news not be traumatic? And I would cite, look up the Georgia Guidestones if you doubt what I'm saying. They want to get the earth down to 500 million. How are you going to do that without killing a whole lot of people? So that's who these elitist scum are. That's who they are, okay, at the very top. And if they're hobnobbing with the likes of the Bilderbergers and everything else, like these kind of people, then you know they're on the same page as these people. And that's who they are. That's who these people that want to protect and defend the establishment are. The people that are destroying the fabric of our society in America. They're trying to take us down the road of China or India or Mexico or some other, you know, third world country. And uh, you know, they're, they're very miserable people. And they want to spread that misery. That's all they've got to give because they are miserable. And they can, you know, act like they're not and it, with putting on a pretty face and all this. And, you know, Alex Jones getting, you know, he's, he, he's getting... Uh, you know, discombobulated by this Megyn Kelly, you know, with Fox News, as stiff-lipped Megyn Kelly. And, uh, you know, she, she sickens me, too, because I don't like her attitude. She's got just this, oh, you know, even though I'm going to be the purveyor of fake news, uh, you know, don't, uh, you know, I'm not going to get discombobulated. Nobody's going to, I don't care if Alex, whatever, whatever Donald Trump says or anybody else out there, I don't care. I get paid a lot of money. And uh, I'm going to say whatever I have to say, and I'm going to be a good girl for my handlers. And any of these other sycophants out there that just say, look, you know, don't talk to me. I've made gobs of money, and, you know, don't tell me what's fake news and what's not, okay? But these people don't know. They don't know, or they're just liars, okay? And, you know, the idea that they do know and that they would lie anyhow is really disconcerting. 
but that's what I think we're, we're up against here. And I've got no idea how long I've been talking, so I'm going to start the timer now, but I, I, I forgot to start it originally, and I'm just going to guess I've been talking for about uh, seven minutes, I guess. But uh, anyhow, you know, these uh, tactics they're using on Trump are McCarthyistic tactics. Look up that term and you'll see. <clears throat> this is the pot calling the kettle back. These are the treasonous characters. And they're saying that Trump is treasonous because he's siding with uh, Russia and, and Russia is helping him because they don't like Hillary and all this crap. This is all they've got left. And then, and then we got Nancy Pelosi's daughter working to steal these electoral, you know, these, uh, these uh, what do they call them, these electorates. Uh, you know, so, you know, it, it's, it's, really, it's really coming down to some big scam taking place. And Obama seems on board with this push and this idea that, look, we've got to invalidate this election because the Russians were working for Trump and they swung it for him. So we need a new election or we've just got to, have, we've got some constitutional crises we've got to confront here. So we're just going to have to shut down government in the meantime, and, and Obama plans on staying in, I think. Yeah, that's my own think, if you had to ask me right now. So we're going to have something happen in this country that, as far as I know, has never happened before in history. And that's how history is. Some people will say it's cyclic, but I say it's linear. It's different every time because people learn, okay? You can't stop information. You can't stop knowledge. You can't stop accurate education from going forward. Okay, it's the light of truth. It's God's way of making sure that good eventually prevails in this thing. So while there are similarities and commonalities about history, it's not cyclic, okay? It's a whole new thing. This is unprecedented. This point in history is unprecedented. So, you know, this whole idea that we really are reaching a crescendo, an end of an age, and the beginning of a new age, and all this stuff Jesus predicted, okay? and so many other prophets of old predicted. It's not unreasonable, it's not illogical. It's reasonable and it's logical to assume that we may be entering this era because there's just a point where it just gets ridiculous, absurd that these evil people continue to, to run roughshod over humanity, over the interests of the public at large and keep getting away with it. Keep, you know, just keep on just causing misery. That's all they're doing is causing great misery and destruction and death through these dubious wars, through the poverty they create, the crime, through because of financial desperation, all the debt out there, state, federal, uh, 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 individual debt, all the broken homes, all the suicides, all the abortions, all this stuff. This is all part and parcel of it all. Okay, understand the, 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 the havoc these people are wreaking in this country, what they've been able to get away with so far, but eventually God's going to put his foot down. He's going to lose his cool, and he's just going to, you know, that's it. That's the end of the age. That's the time when his fury, his wrath boils over, and he can't take it anymore. So he separates the wicked from the righteous, which is perfectly fair. This is what he has to do. And the wicked ask the mountains to cover him. This is what they'd love to do, instigate a third world war where they go safely underground. They've got these huge underground cities built, okay, and um, while the earth is destroyed and then they come out in a decade or so when it's safe to come out from all the radiation from, you know, this event that just destroys basically almost all life on earth and, that's the earth, and what's left is going to be mutated from the radiation, but this is what they want to do, you know, and it's written in scripture that my people perish for lack of understanding, and that's what I see happening here is people don't really understand because it's so mind-boggling to understand just how wicked these people are and their designs on the whole earth and that means the, the, the destiny of all humanity, what they want to do to us. So we've got to see Trump as a precursor to the return of Jesus. And you can say what you want about the man, he's this multi-billionaire and yeah, there was a time I really, I really thought, oh my God, not Trump, anybody but Trump. Okay, I, I understand, you know, the way people just want to negate anything that he says as being, you know, it can't be good because it came from Trump, you know, but, um, you know, I really do think the man is on the side of humanity, and he's on the side of America, and no matter where you live in this on this planet, you can be a good American by beholding constitutional principles of equality and justice for all, okay, 
And I believe God is a good American in that sense, that he believes in equality and justice for all. And we all need to just say, you know what, be empowered by the truth, be empowered by knowledge, and uh, just decide we're going to be good human beings. And we're going to stand on the side of righteousness. We're going to be on the right side of history. And, um, and we're going to expect good things from being on the right side of history. And uh, I think I better wrap it up here. But anyhow, I hope everybody has a good weekend. And uh, I hope I've given some food for thought and given my opinion. But I've got no interest in, in purveying fake news. I've got absolutely no monetary financial interest in these videos I put out. I just want to do something to be on the record so nobody looks back in history and says, hey, this guy here, he's, he, he was a bad guy, okay, no, 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 I was on the side of everybody, okay, that's it, I'm, on, I'm everybody's friend, whether you know it or not, and that's a choice any of us can make, it's everybody's prerogative to be a friend to everybody, to be a friend to your enemy and to be tactful in how you correct your enemy. Sometimes they need to be extor excoriated, and sometimes they need to be corrected diplomatically and very tactfully. But uh, it's only the spirit of truth that can tell you and dictate to you as an individual how you need to go forth, how you need to expose the fruitless deeds of darkness, just so you make sure you've done your job in warning the public and saying, look, don't you see? that there is evil in the land, and if we let them have their way, what they're gonna do to us, I have an obligation, I have a responsibility, I have a duty to not only my children, but to your children, to future generations, to everybody right in the here and now, I have a duty to the youth. And this is my contribution to putting out these videos. So God bless everybody, I do love everybody, I'm on everybody's side, and remember, there's hope for everybody. Anybody can jump ship at any time. So don't be condemning. Don't you be, you know, judge. You know, we're all discerning. Be judging in the sense that we're discerning, but we can't condemn anybody. We don't know who's going to be condemned to hell. Okay, only God has that kind of wisdom. And the angels who are called the harvesters of souls. These are the ones that are going to separate the wicked from the righteous. Anyhow, have a good one. We'll talk again soon. I hope.